So now we're on the last problem, which says solve 6x squared is greater than or equal to 5x squared plus 99 plus 2x. Select the option that best represents the solutions. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to move the entire right hand side, all of the terms on the right hand side over to the left side by subtracting. So we have 6x squared minus 5x squared minus 99 minus 2x. And we can simplify that by 6x squared minus 5x squared is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 99 is greater than or equal to zero. And so what we want to do now is we can think of this as our equation or formula f of x is greater than or equal to zero. So we need to find values of x that make this inequality true. And we need to do start by finding the critical points of this polynomial. So we can factor the polynomial. So we know it's going to have some structure like x plus a times x plus b, where a and b are integers. And so we know that a and b both have to be factors of 99. Their product has to add up to negative 99. So a times b equals negative 99. So factors of negative 99 would include negative 1 and 99, 1 and negative 99, negative 3 and 33, 3, negative 33, and 9 and negative 11 and negative 9 and 11. But additionally, the sum of a and b, a plus b, has to be equal to negative 2. So clearly, it can't be either of the 1 and 99 or 3 and 33, because those do not add up to negative 2. And we have two choices left. We have 9 and negative 11, and negative 9 and 11. So 9 minus 11 is equal to negative 2, whereas negative 9 plus 11 is equal to 2, positive 2. So as we can see, the correct factor would be 9 and negative 11. So instead of x plus a and times x plus b, we can write x plus 9 times x minus 11 is greater than or equal to 0. And so our critical points would be the point at which y is equal to 0, f of x, well, we have, we're multiplying two terms by each other. We have x plus 9 and x minus 11. So we can obtain 
f of x equals 0 by making one of these terms 0. So we set x plus 9 equals 0. We obtain x equals negative 9. So as you can see, if we plug in negative 9, negative 9 minus or negative 9 plus 9 is 0, which would make this form this expression 0. So just as an example, negative 9 plus 9 times negative 9 minus 11 would be 0 times negative 20 equals 0. So on the other hand, the we can make the other term 0 in order to obtain f of x equals 0. And so we can set x minus 11 equal to 0, which we get x equals 11. So our two critical points are negative 9 and 11. So by now, we can already know that our solution is not going to be answer 3. So it's either, because answer 3 includes negative 11 and 9, which are not the critical points. And so I was saying that we need values of x that make f of x greater than or equal to 0. Now, we can plot this graph, f of x. So, as you can see, I have the polynomial written out and also the factor. And so, if we were to plot this on a graph, we would have a shape similar to that of x squared. And as we can see, that is, that is indeed what we have on this graph right here. And we know that this graph is f of x. We know that f of x is equal to 0 at negative 9, and x equals 11. So, we're looking for the direction in which f of x would be greater than or equal to 0. So, let's look at our options. We have negative 9, so we have, for the first two choices, between negative 9 and 11. So, the first choice is just including negative 9 and 11 as part of the uh, solution. But if we go to our graph, we can see that f of x, since it's in the shape of x squared, positive x squared, that means that it's going to be increasing as x goes to be goes to uh, negative infinity and infinity. So actually, between negative 11, or negative 9 and 11, this part of f of x, f of x is actually negative. It's less than 0. Instead, we can see what we can see is that as x increases uh, above 11, past 11, or as x decreases below negative 9, f of x becomes more positive. And so for our solution, it should be between negative so should be between negative infinity to negative 9 
and from 11 to infinity. And so what these hard brackets mean is that including negative 9 and 11 would make this solution true, which, as we've shown, that negative 9 and 11 are the critical points which make x of f of x equal to 0, which would make this solution true, this inequality true, because 0 is equal to zero, which is included in that greater than or equal to sign.